maker before I became a physicist. <clears throat> and I know what, what it means to be a good scientific instrument maker, and John Hutchinson is there. He's, he's a good one. <clears throat> Let's go to Jerry in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Hey, Jerry, thanks for calling. Hey, good morning. I, I was just wondering, do you honestly think the power elite of this country or the world will let free energy surface? Or will, or will the inventors have heart attacks or car accidents yeah. or something like that? That's the $64,000 question, Bob. That, that's an excellent, excellent, excellent question. That's a wonderful question. Um, you know, I tell you, I, I, I'm not one generally to believe in conspiracies, but I do know for a fact that there is active suppression of uh, free energy by certain individuals who I believe are probably paid by some other group. I don't know who. And I, I don't know who, What you know, your question is excellent. I don't know the answer. It's not only active suppression, it's all, but it is money. It is money, money, money. Uh, there's no doubt about it. <clears throat> and, uh, well, you know, there were three energy devices. Dr. Moray had a, a 50 kilowatt tabletop unit in the 1930s. So, well, whatever happened to that? And uh, the, the, the government, well, the patent office wouldn't give him a patent, and the government said it was a, a private industry matter. And so he, he gave hundreds of demonstrations, and uh, it was well documented, but he, you know, they have, went to the grave with them, most of it, yep. because, uh, you know, I tell you, this this is not easy physics. Physics itself is pretty tough, but this scalar physics, when you start getting negative mass electrons that, that uh, obey a different kind of laws of physics, or, or if uh, imagine a zero energy particle that carries momentum, you know, how do you deal with these things? It's very complicated, and there are gauge transformations and phase space calculations, and you have to get the frequencies right and the and, uh, voltage is right and the capacitor breakdown voltage. Everything's got, and you've got to use the right dielectrics in your capacitor. On and on and on. So you're, this man's question, thank you, sir, is a good question, and I don't know. I, I would, I hope people will really alert, be alerted to this and, and do what they can to get free energy going for this country and the world. Let's go to Janesville, Wisconsin, east of the Rockies. Terry, you're up with us on Coast to Coast. I, I understand what you're saying about free energy and um, the successes it could create and how it could uh, eventually help everyone in mankind worldwide. But I can't say how could free, or free energy could save our country from the simple fact that uh, we're in a huge recession and our national reserve is probably debunked by this point in time. And, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like uh, I think that our National Reserve, the way everything is, and they're, they're totally denying the recession we're in is so huge. And the economic effect is so overwhelming. Everybody's in denial just because the media is not given the, the full effect of what's really happening around us. You're you're a hundred percent right. You know, I've read the New York Times for twenty years, and the reporting. I'm sorry. I wish it weren't. What I'm about to say is not weren't true, but it gets worse and worse and worse. I can't even understand the headlines sometimes. And they report soccer matches and football games and operas and all kinds of things on the front page. When we got really fundamental, serious problems, as this man says, right at the core of our country, we're 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 at risk for. Uh, a, something worse than the Great Depression. I'm certain of it. Uh, you know, if we, don't, I, my opinion is, we've got maybe a year to really start turning things around dramatically, or we're headed. And these politicians, you know, they don't get it. They, you know, George, if you if you start maxing out your credit card, or if you start putting too much on your credit card, you cut down. So do I, right? You stop spending so much. But these guys in Washington, they keep spending more and more and more. <clears throat> I mean, it's like they pick it off a tree, isn't it, Bob? Well, they're printing it now, but basically the same thing. You know, they're just, uh, well, what's going to happen is uh, the currency is it, losing a lot of value, as you know. Gold is going up. The euro is going up. The, uh, I don't know when the, the dollar will no longer become the world currency, but it's going to happen, I believe. And so we are in serious trouble. And, you know, we can't sit around and watch American Idol. We have to do something. And not listen, George, you know this and I know this. A, a housewife in Minnesota or a, a paralyzed veteran in a veterans hospital can do a lot. And I want to say thank you to our veterans, too, and especially Marine Corps, but all of you. And uh, you've got a tough job, and 
I spent six years in the Navy, but I'll tell you, I'm no hero. And like you guys in there, they've been in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's so. true. <clears throat> Toronto, Ontario. Sam, a few minutes here. Go ahead, Sam. Hello. How's everybody tonight? Okay, Sam. Good. Uh, I have a question. I, I've been looking uh, a while for uh, a way to build the free energy machines, and the ones that I tried on the Internet never worked. I was just wondering if you know an effective energy machine that I could build or how to get the plans for it or where to do that. Uh, yeah, uh, if you would uh, – well, I'll say there, there's uh, – on the Internet, if you look under uh, SEC, that's Spatial – Exciter coherence. Uh, Dr. Ronald Stifler, a uh, Stifler Scientifics, uh, sells devices, or, but, but you have to be engaged in research. He won't give them, he builds them special uh, for uh, individuals. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but this is something that's already sort of, sort of already tested and works. And uh, it's a free energy device, but you have to give it a little power. It puts that uh, maybe. 100 watts of uh, power and consumes 0.6 watts, according to my analysis, something like that. It uses a, something called an Abramenko plug. This is very sophisticated engineering. I would not recommend that uh, a typical person try to build a free energy device because it, it isn't easy at all. You really have to get the physics just right. And, and uh, the thing about the physics is that uh, you're not going to be able to find this in a textbook. <clears throat> You can study the patents of uh, Stan Meyer, uh, but that's pretty sophisticated, too, and, and you really need to know about gauge transformations. This is not uh, amateur hour exactly, but, I, you know, I don't want to uh, – amateurs can do a lot. Amateur sure. astronomers have discovered hey, many things. Uh, including asteroids. They including could save asteroids, them. right. And, you know, and uh, – and amateur scientists like John Hutchins, though I don't want to call him an amateur scientist. You know, listen, George, if I could give a Nobel Prize to anybody right now, you including myself, job. I would give it to him. Okay, Bob, we're out of time. I want to thank you. Website, drkoontz.com. Keep in touch, Bob, all right? Okay, George, you take care. All right, he's, uh, he does just great work, and uh, I just like his mindset. I, I, I really do. Our next Coast to Coast program, Tom Horn joins us. We're going to be talking about the Nephilim Stargates, and uh, I'll tell you what, he's got an incredible story to tell. And then on Thursday, Thanksgiving night, Glynis McCants joins us for a couple hours, the numbers lady, plus another surprise guest. For Dan Galanti, Tom Danheiser, Lisa Lyon, Lex Lonehood, Sean Ladasur, Ross Mitchell, George Nappy, and Punnett and Art Bell, I'm George Norrie, somewhere out there on Coast to Coast AM. We'll see you on our next edition. Until then. Be safe, everyone.